Hey, yo, guys, what's up? So, as you guys might know, I've been playing a lot of these uh, arcade games that have been ported over to the NES using my uh, Intech gaming deck. Just trying to see uh, how these games play with arcade controls. And for the most part, they've been playing pretty well. Uh, <laughs> but this next game is one that I really didn't want to play. I've never played it, but I know that it has a reputation, and I'm sure you can see. But it's been kind of being talked about a lot in the community lately. I, I know Kongs R Us did a, uh, a few nice mods to his arcade one-up cabinet that look really, really nice. Um, there's been a lot of those mini cabinets that have been released that a lot of people have been doing reviews about, so I figured, well... It's about time the arcade community sees what the port for the Nintendo of Dragon's Lair is like. Basically, everything that made that game great in the arcade has been taken away for the NES. Yeah, the uh, Laserdisc uh, gameplay and graphics, gone. The uh, point and click, gone. They, they turned this into a platformer with horrible graphics and... If you guys don't know anything about it, well, here we go. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. Now, I've watched videos on it, so I kind of know what to expect. I know there's a dragon that pops up here. Somewhere. And I think the way you have to beat him... Oh, oh. That's right. He spits fireballs. I mean, how can they even call this Dragon Slayer? It's nothing like the original. I mean, imagine being a kid that loved this game in the arcade. And then you hear that Dragon Slayer is coming out for the NES. You have an NES at home. And this is the game you ask for for your birthday. You want it more than anything. And that this is what you get. How disappointed would you be? I mean, this is a perfect example of if you can't do it right, don't do it at all. Oh, really? That one? That one's gonna act that way? Okay, so you have to dodge these guys with the rocks. Snake pops out. Kill him. Get the G, which is gold. Wait for this thing to spawn, which it's not spawning now. Maybe because I killed it? Don't let that stupid spike touch one pixel of your body because you're going to die. Let me try to get his timing down here. Yep, didn't do it. <laughs> this is frustrating. <laughs> Oh, look, it's there this time. I'm not that familiar with the original arcade game of this, so... I have no idea if this is even close to being familiar. I mean, if this is anywhere close to being similar to the arcade. I mean, I can't imagine that it is. Like, again, how, how could you even call this Dragon's Lair? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Screwed up. Screwed up. Oh, I killed it. Oh, don't throw rocks at me. This is terrible. Come on. And why do you gotta have that stupid animation when you turn around? Uh-oh. Oh, yep. I knew I messed up. This is, uh... This is pretty rough. Okay, he throws his rocks. Get D. I'm spelling something. Ugh. Oh, here we go with these stupid things again. And I'm dead. Game over. 
I want to try this again. Here. Here. Ass, because that's what I think of this game. Yeah, there you go. Ass, right above dick. Right where it belongs. Alright, well, that's Dragon's Lair. Uh, I don't want to stretch this out too long. <laughs> As you can see, it's bad. I mean, I don't know how far I would even be able to make it. I could spend hours and probably not do very well. I mean, that's the perfect example of a, uh, a trial and error type of game. So, we're going to cleanse ourselves of that filth and disgust. And we're going to put in a good game. Probably one of, my opinion, one of the best arcade games there ever was. And probably the best arcade port over to the NES there ever was. And actually, this is one of the rare occasions where the NES version of the game is superior to the arcade. Contra. Now, I'm not going to put the 30 live code in. Because we'll be here all night. But I'll tell you, this is one of the games... I mean, I've played this in, in the arcade. I have it on my Konami uh, multi-cab. And that's actually the first time I've ever played the arcade version. I grew up playing this. I mean, I think everybody who had an NES played this game. If you didn't, then there's something wrong with you. But, uh... I mean, boy, if Arcade 1-Up can come out with a uh, Contra cabinet, and it, it probably wouldn't be a Contra, it would probably be on some sort of Konami Legacy or whatever, but... Boy, how fun would this be to jump online with another person and just mess everything up, just start blasting everything in sight. There's the weapon that you want right there. Not, not that one. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get that spread. up here. I don't want that fire, so I'm not even going to try to get the spread. With my luck, I would have got the fire, couldn't went back far enough to get it. So we'll go with the machine gun, that's the second best weapon. Now, what's weird on the arcade version of this game, the laser, which is pretty bad on this, is by far the best weapon on the arcade version. It just, uh, I mean, it's just so overpowered, it just like one-shots everything. That's right, there's another spread. Okay. It's on now. Let's clear everything with this guy. Oh no. No! <laughs> what have I done? I'm stuck with this stupid thing. I'll say one thing though. You couldn't go any further apart on the, the video game spectrum than Contra and Dragon's Lair from the NES. That, that pretty much sums up the NES. I, I really don't think in any other system is the spectrum so large from good games to crap games. Because you have some of the greatest games of all time on this system. You know, Super Mario Bros. 3, Legend of Zelda, this, Mega Man, Castlevania. And, and then you got some just horrendous games like Dragon's Lair and Hyde Light and, and other games like that. I can't think of another system where the, the, the just the overall spectrum of uh, quality of games is so different. Because you, I mean, you have it all. Oh, that red guy right there. He'll drop a power up if you kill him. Oh, oh, be careful! Don't get electrocuted. Yeah, this is this is so much better to play with the arcade controls. I mean, it's fun with a with an NES controller, but with the arcade controls. Probably because, again, that's how it's supposed to be played. I need one of those red guys to show up. Give me an upgraded weapon. I'll just uh, kill some baddies for a minute until that one guy comes bouncing across the screen. Because I think they come. There he is. And I blew it. And I died too. Way to go. Way to go. Probably just give me fire anyways. Hmm. This game is pretty tough. I mean, they did the right thing by <laughs> putting a 30 live code into the game when they released it for the NES. Because this that's one thing they should have done with some other NES ports like Ghosts and Goblins or, or something like that that were just 
brutally hard and designed to just eat your quarters because it just makes them so hard on these systems. Yeah, adding that 30 life code, I mean, I've seen people beat it with only three lives and they are just true, true professionals. <laughs> I'm not one of them. I need that 30 life code if I'm gonna beat this game. But even without it, it would just be ridiculously hard, but it would be so much fun. Yeah, I mean, the music in this game, the gameplay, everything about it is just great. This is this is like the pinnacle of the NES right here. This ranks up there with the best of the best on the system. In my opinion, probably the best arcade port of any game that's on the system. And that's why I wanted to put this in here, because Dragon's Lair is probably the worst. I don't, I don't think you can go any worse than that. Excuse me, two crap weapons, laser and then fire. So you saw fire. Laser is a little bit better. It's it is kind of powerful, but it's not nearly as powerful as the uh, as it is in the arcade. Yeah, two shots kills those. In the arcade, one would take it right out. All right, we'll take some invincibility. Yeah, I'd take the laser over the fire. The laser is definitely number three weapon. This is the level that's tough with two players. Because <laughs> you always tend to uh, <laughs> out jump your teammate and they get trapped down below and they die. Uh, like that. And that's a game over. Well, alright. I'll, I'll keep this one pretty short. But uh, do yourself a favor. Don't ever get Dragon's Lair for the NES. There, there's no need for it. Unless you're just a collector like I am and you just have to have it in your collection just to complete it. But if you're looking to play some fun games, Dragon's Lair is not one of them. Contra absolutely 100% is one of them. If you have an NES collection of any kind and you don't have Contra in it, what is wrong with you? Get out and buy it right now because it is a classic. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Thanks.